good after noggins my beautiful human breams. Today we are launching a very special feature indeed. Mrs. Doc and I will be reading out poems from fans, some submitted directly and some taken from the Wren's Rabbit Hole fans Facebook group. Each is used with permission and full credit given to the original poet. Okay, let's dive in. First up is Mrs. Doc. Okay, so this one's called Five Minute Funny Poem, written by a Mr. Basie and shared on the Wren Rabbit Hole Facebook group. There once was a young fellow named Wren, who liked to write rhymes with his pen, his guitar skills were sick, he was bitten by a tick, and now we all know, that a Toblerone, is the same fucking shape as his dick. Very good. So he called that a five-minute funny poem? It was funny, granted. But if he thinks that was five minutes, I hate to think how he describes the length of his Toblerone. Next up is a moving poem by Vintage Evenstar, called Within Me. I try to find beauty in the meaning, as time slowly strings, the space in my mind, into intricate delicate wings, that flutter my thoughts, around in my mind as time eludes me, of what I once thought I should be, and finds the secluded shattered pieces, of memories broken and battered inside me, trying to escape but also trying to hide in the corners, I try to begin to see through the dark parts, pulling the cracks, shifting, moving pieces, I do this while breathing, the darkness seething, seeking, I close my eyes, hands are bleeding, but I will not be defeated, so I look for the beauty, within me. Goodness, that was absolutely precious. Thank you. What's up next, Mrs. Doc? This one is called The Media Machine, by S.E. Davies. Media is bollocks. It's all a form of money-grabbing, modern propaganda, in order to increase the sales of the political agenda. Motivation of manipulation by the editorial elite, gonna put the politicians in a position on the seat. Yet the overconsumption of well-known media outlets, all centered on the political agenda from the outset. Of the consumer, in short, it's exposed mass hypnotism, motivation to move us to a pre-designed destination. Created to sway the peoples to a set of ideals, while avoiding accusations from the Court of Appeals. The media interpretations of these current events, at the time of consumption leaves you angry or content, it's the algorithms of the forward slash, dot com, database, the smiles on the threads outnumbered by the angry face, in an attempt to guide the citizens of the country they reside, not caring about the blood that's being spilt for their lies. But that's the thing you see with this misguided conspiracy, it preys upon our, addicted feelings desire to be free. But freedom in itself is a lie that's being told. To trap us in acceptance with this cold media glow. We all sacrifice ourselves for our government's disputes. Disrupting people's harmony for their monetary pursuits. Only sacrifice yourselves for your family and your friends. Or later down the line we'll have to make amends. With a nuclear deterrent now our people will be fed. Forgetting all the slaves from all nations how they bled to build upon the dreams of a dead man's rotten head, the women bear our children, they should rule this world instead. Wow. That one had rage against the malarkey vibes. Next up is a poem from Nasty Crab Cakes. She describes it as a simple little poem I wrote about music. Thanks to Ren for getting me back into writing, and into writing poetry for the first time in many years. Music is far too simple a word to describe the thrill and the tremble, the rushing tide, the beat of my heart, when the melody brings me to life, I crank up the volume, max out the sound, tighten my headphones, and let myself drown, drown out the silence, drown out the dread, and all of the voices that churn in my head, close my eyes and sink deeper, into the stream, let the music take hold, and wash all of me clean, it burrows deep inside of my bones, a soothing balm to my world-weary soul. Now we have a poem called They Say, You'll Be New, by Ali Munro. When you recover, you'll stand akin to all of the others, you'll shed your skin, pull back the covers, abandoning all that has conquered you, they say, it's not you, it's the sum of your trauma, that things will be better the more you explore her, you let her be heard pull her out of the corner, abandoning all that has conquered you, I've lived here so long, I'm afraid I shall miss her, for when she is gone all that's left is her sister, 
recovery strong not a sign of the blisters, just memories of all that has conquered you, recovery's strength, and its fear of deep failure, for when she sheds her skin what on earth do you name her, an abundance of life on a blank piece of paper, abandoning all that has conquered you. Ali wrote that the poem was about recovery, from addiction, trauma and mental illness. That one hit deep. Not as deep as this next one though. Sorry for the inappropriate link. Up next is a poem addressed to Wren. A charming little ditty entitled, A Finger in the Anus, by Alejandro Martinez. Let's slip right in. Dear Wren. What's with, the finger in the anus? It sounds so heinous. And never painless. Can we rearrange this? Wren. I know you're famous. Don't wanna miss explain this. Or be some fucking lame ass. Who calls your rhymes outrageous. No easy way to say this. I'm not an ignoramus. You've always been tenacious. With you. There's never fakeness. Your fans are so vivacious. They're open minds. So spacious. We know you're here to aid us. For your music. We're rapacious. Our mental state. Salacious. Our pasty skin. Sebaceous. Our appetite. Voracious. Philosophy. Non fallacious. Your thoughts are so contagious. I think that you can save us, regardless of our races, with pure homeostasis. We need those words, courageous, the world. It wants to drain us, the man. He wants to chain us, and you're finally back from Vegas. So, that's my current status. We'll let the haters hate us, and excommunicate us, and put us on hiatus. Your British steel is stainless. Your art is always frameless. And just like Kurt Cobain says, here we are now, entertain us. That was shitting excellent. Next up is, I Can Take It All, by Amalia Freud. No relation. And this one is a fan poem about our channel, thank you very much. The thoughtful, the irreverent, the poignant, the crude, the insights, the lift, the filth that is spewed. The rapping, the crooning, the reggae, the blues, the gentle, the chokehold, the sweet, the lewd, the thirst traps, the unkempt, the filters, the nude, the grey beard, the misses, the dog, the lube. The wise, the offensive, the honest, the rude, the taters, the wantons, my new favorite food. Your reactions, I love, however you choose. That was brilliant. Well, Thank you to all the community members who made this feature possible by bearing their souls and exposing their Toblerones to the world. Mrs. Doc and I love you all very much. Goodbye for now, my tightrope unicycling angels.